everyone. So, I'm gonna do a quick little playthrough on this new Shadow Kings that Good Game Empire came out with a couple days ago. So, let's read through the storyline here. The forests of the elves are in flames. The halls of the dwarves in ruins. We will crush your resistance to human. Hmm. I find that rather insulting. Now I've given you have given us protection in your city. Now let's chase these orcs back to Oh my gosh, is this like the Lord of the Rings? Holy crap. Build a barracks to train warriors. Okay. Hmm. I have to say the the graphics in this are kind of infant tile a little bit. Um this is definitely kind of made for mobile, it looks like, just from how the animations look like. On the world map, you can find the orcs' shadow camps, as well as other players' cities. Hmm. Click on the orc shadow camp. Well, they definitely kept with the... Um, the look, I mean the feel of the... They definitely stuck with the feel of Good Game Empire. A crushing victory. Wonderful. Oh yeah, I'm level 2 now. Stone quarry, storehouse, city expansions, house, farm. Well, they still have a lot of the same names. Outgoing attacks. Victory Camp City. Okay. Hmm. Now return to your city. Okay. So there's the home buttons, apparently. They've switched them around from, instead of being like all over here and over here, to just being right down there like a little taskbar. Like in, ah, iOS. City expansions and fortifications. Make an expansion of city. I think I'll do this side. Excellent, now build a stone quarry. Okay. Economic buildings. Stone quarry. I shall place it hither. Yes. Apparently you got magic potions in this one. Stones are an essential building material. Click here to see how many stones you are producing per hour. Seven per hour. The more you upgrade your buildings, the more resources you will produce per hour. Hmm. So instead of scrolling over, you have to click on it. This looks a little bit more user friendly. Honestly, I like seeing, like, my name and level up here. Oh, and they offer, like, little arrows to move it one little space at a time. That's cute. Now you have enough storage space. You can see what to do next in the quest book. Oh, so there's your quest book. It's way down here. How you can find a quest. Oh, yes. A new home. Build house level one. Okay. So now we go to this, go to economic buildings, go down here to the house. Hmm. I wonder what this does. Is this like your encampment? I think this might be like your encampment. Own house, level one, okay. Apparently you get stars, so that's kind of interesting. So let's see. Start collecting taxes. You can pick up to 15 coin, coins in 15 minutes. Harvest time, okay. Own a farmhouse, level one. Okay, you got these little information buttons. Put you right there. What's this? You can't scroll over and see what things are. Maybe that's just because I'm in the tutorial mode, I don't know. Yay, I'm level three now. And now I get to name my city. Play fire. No way. Let's see, the last one was Ye Faith. What should I name this one? Um I'm gonna go with Fortius because that is stronger in Latin. And Fortius. Just sounds so cool. I should I should do that for all my castles. 
I wonder if they have outposts in this. Hmm. Let's see. The music in this is kind of mellow. Oh, I haven't recorded the Good Game Empire music yet. It got a new soundtrack. Um. Hmm. I don't know, this just seems like more... More of a child-friendly game, you know? I mean, it's just like... Just from the animation, it just seems like it's something like your little brother would play. You can do espionages. That's interesting. And you have generals. So that's interesting. You can do tools. You can do warriors. But I don't have any more warriors. Sweet, okay. And now I'm at level four. Your name is still not on your coat of arms. Soon you will be known throughout the realm. Okay. Hmm. Change your coat of arms. What? what if I can't make my own custom? Huh. Well, that seems lame. Why can't you make your own custom? That's lame. That is so lame. That seems totally lame that you can't change your coat of arms. <sighs> lame. Okay. Own decorations. Let's see, lantern. I'll do this because I feel like it's it's a third one, so it's more experience. I don't know. Uh, what else here? Level five! Yay! Oh my gosh, I have to talk quiet because it's it's almost midnight and I don't want to get in trouble. Ha ah, Because I still live at home! Ha! Ah. Move out of your parents' houses, kids. I'm serious. Okay, now we got the main gates. You can upgrade and then go to the fence. That's cool. How about your walls? Yep, you can upgrade your walls. Cool. You can check on defense. Two, you can select tools to put in here. You can select the melee to the ranged. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. So let's see, what is... I think something they should add is definitely scroll over information, where you just like scroll the mouse over the item and it tells you what it is. I think that would help a lot of people. Okay, so it looks like they still have outposts. Um, this one apparently does 14 and 4. That one does 10 and 4. So this is a bit more interesting. There's a... kind of a difference here. This is kind of cool. Um, well, I'm gonna see if I can capture this. Ah, I need a governor, apparently. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's complete a few more missions, see if I can get a go. Okay. So... Apparently... Their melee attacking strength is one and a half circles. <laughs> and apparently their melee defensive strength is half a circle. No idea what this is. I think this is the bread they take. They take one bread. That's the only other thing I can think it would be. Oh, it's a bag! Oh, it's a loot bag. Apparently they can carry one loot bag. Oh my goodness. This is so dumbed down. They don't have actual numbers. Oh my gosh. Um. Alright, what about the other side? Here we go. Do this side now, yeah. Do the old side-by-side -side technique. And apparently you have to go back. 
<sighs> okay. So there's a lot of little back buttons up here. This is this looks like it was made for mobile. So let's go house. And apparently this is the traveling trader, so apparently it's like the merchant. And I figured out this is your general's camp, which is exactly like your general's camp, you know? How many men you need to attack and all that. So, okay. So here we're in the decoration center. And you gotta click on this, this does four, this does four, this does four. This does for working stuff. What's it called? Um, this does five public order. I think that's what that's what it's referred to as in the game Empire is public order. So it adds four public order. Victory at Shadow Cack. I only lost. I lost zero warriors. Yay. What's this next one? Here we go. Now let's see, where's the little message board? Here it is. Um, found an alliance. Your alliance name? Let's see, let's go back to Latin Translate. Okay guys, look at this. I was using Latin Translate, and I was typing in best. So I typed in, and that made Optimus. So Optimus Prime is best first. Isn't st that Optimus Prime? That's that's cool. Just a side note. That's that's just that's. Here we are. I <clears throat> pardon me. I've named it Naris Warriors. Naris is skillful in Latin. I love Latin. Now to write something profound and witty. There we are. My alliance shall be comprised of people who are heroic and skillful, not afraid to confront the evil in this world and stomp it out. But most of all, we embark on a journey to make friends and have fun in this game. Cool. Alright, sweet. All right, and let's see, by looking at this little thing, we can see the travel overview. We got 41 seconds before this is done. And the best piece of advice I can give you guys right now is pretty much just click on every button and see what it does. Click on every button you could find. And just look at what it does. Oh look, I can buy a city expansion. Yay! Oh my gosh, I just leveled up. Whoa. Let's... <laughs> That's getting a little obnoxious now. That's kind of funny. And now we can see how we did with clicking this little skull chart. Outgoing attacks. Victory at Shadow Camp. I lost zero men. Can we... See what kind of okay? Can we see what kind of plan it did? Nope. Doesn't give you as much detail as the Empire does. Just really sad. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Go back here. As we can see, it does about the same thing that Empire does. You see the castles, and then you have the outposts, villages. This means that they are protected, apparently. And this star, you get apparently one star for every level you are. So then that means this dude is a level 6. I'm a level 7. This dude's a level 14. That dude's a level 7. That dude's a level 10. Um, you can write messages, you can block players. 
Ooh, you can do alliance requests. I don't have any. Alright, so this is where you view your alliance stuff, members list. Oh, okay. Um, navigation. Show you all your things. I can get my first outpost from level 13, that's cool. This is the market. Economy. Apparently you can buy stuff. And... That's my army. That's pretty interesting. Okay. And apparently you get a 200% bonus! That's cool. Wait a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we'll definitely have more on this later. And now I'm gonna be doing Good Game Galaxy. So we'll see you guys here again later. Thanks for watching.